They say that the top 10% sell 90% of all real estate in South Florida. Meet Dave, Vince, and Rudy. Transplanted New Yorkers who have become a part of that 10% in Miami real estate. Everybody find me right now. Say you ready, so here I go. You know I go now. Honestly, if I could be at an event every night, I would be. I understand and I know that networking is key. People need to see you. They can't just see you digitally online or, you know, they need to see you out and about. They need to see you network, knowing people mutually, not just the, we share 300 friends on Facebook, but that we know the same people and we run in the same circles. And I think that's huge. So if I could go to an event every night, I would. Listen, let's call it what it is. David, you yep. know what? You may not understand this. Vince, I think you got somewhat of a grip on this. In this industry, real estate, mm -hmm. from head to toe, mm -hmm. A to Z, mm -hmm. we carry the most liability. That's a known fact, right? Title does. And we get all the blame. For you, for you, fresh, 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 fresh. Grew up in Ozone Park, Queens, New York. Not the roughest of places, but definitely gets you mentally strong and prepared for uh, for the real world. I guess I had a sister here at the time who moved away for miscellaneous reasons, and uh, she wanted uh, no part of what I was going through in New York, and uh, pleaded and begged my mother to let me come to live in Florida, Miami specifically, and uh, that's how that all culminated. Diving headfirst into the mortgage industry, I, I was, I must say I was pretty successful at it. Uh, I had gotten promoted twice over throughout my years uh, doing mortgages. I worked for some major corporations and uh, title, the title aspect of this industry always for some odd reason or another appealed to me. And when 2007 arrived, uh, as you well know, many people uh, in this industry had to find their, force their way out or, or kind of got forced out because of, um, because of the economic crisis. The greatest asset bubble in history, and now that bubble is bursting. The Repo Riviera, Miami-Dade County. One out of 10 Americans is now behind on their mortgage. Uh, while everyone was getting out of the business, I left the mortgage side and I tapped into the, uh, the title side of things. Good morning, New World Title. I love this conversation. Wait, <laughs> this it's is a, gonna be a good it's one. It's a good conversation to have. Some blame, which is actually warranted, most, in my opinion, which isn't, which is okay. Because it's our job as leaders in the industry to set the tone to try to educate people through the process. One of the key challenges that you have to overcome to be successful in Miami as a real estate professional is the fact that you are competing against 55,000 other real estate professionals and the majority of them are not thoroughly trained, educated, or moving forward. There's a lot of real estate agents, and I mean a lot, that don't understand the full dynamic of what it is to handle a transaction from A to Z from the title aspect of it. You see, it's pretty easy on a real estate agent. I know you probably think, no, it ain't, Rudy. It ain't easy to sell a property. Hey, it's really simple. Real estate sells the property, you sign a contract, and then from there on in, you rely on who? You rely on two factors and two aspects of the transaction, right? Two, two individuals in reality. Me, on the title side, to make sure we ride it through as smoothly and as soon as possible. Transfer ownership. And finance. The financing finance. side. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Typically, that's exactly what happens. The major challenges uh, here in South Florida is, is basically, it's Miami. A lot of people are business for self. Um, you know, it's such a diverse, they have two or three jobs. You know, so uh, it, it's not like before where limited documentation uh, you can still buy a home now. After 2007, 2008, more documentation is required. You know, we need to really prove that you uh, can qualify, can buy this home. So, 
right now, that's the biggest challenge, making sure, hey, you make the money, okay, let's document it, let's paint the story, let's make sure that uh, we can get to those funds to buy that home. So that's the biggest challenge that we see right now. Now, on the financing side, that's good, and all Danny, but I'm, I'm just being realistic from a, a, a liability standpoint. We carry all the liability, and it's for obvious reasons. We hold all the money, escrow deposits, of title's a big factor when it comes to conveying uh, 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 you know, ownership, and furthermore, we are typically the guinea pig to get blamed because it's easy to point the finger and say, well, it's title's fault. It seems like a cry for help, but it isn't. I take it on full force. That's the difference, in my opinion, between myself and my organization and my competition. I'm proud of about the wire as well. So. Okay. Well, no worries. Yeah, I'm on no. it. We really go above and beyond for our clients. And, and our clients really fight for us when it comes to transaction. But she wants to know if they can even have the package ready today and everything. She's like, no, 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 no. I got processes, I got people. I'll pick up that package and do it. Like, it's not even a problem for me, you know? So I'm like, okay, vamos a resolver. That's all we care about. Um, I, don't, I don't know about any title company that'll actually help you out during a weekend or after before hours. If the client wants to blame you or the client wants to blame you, who do they come through? They come to the real estate agent, right? So we're the middleman, like, please. So no, we're you're trying the to- front end. You're the front person, dude. I call it the middleman. You know middle. why I call it the middleman? You're not the middleman. I'm the guy in the middle, right? I'm here. the middleman. <laughs> I'm the no, guy. I'm this the middleman. This is why I love oh, this Oh, this is a great conversation. This is a great middle. conversation. So check this out. We always got you guys believe you're the middle middleman, but here's I'm what happens. I'm the middleman. All right. Obviously, All right. All right. you're the middleman between me, you, and your business. No, I'm the middleman between both agents on each side. No, I love that. Let, they you're not the middleman either. Let's tell you, I'm a guy in the middle right now. And I'll How are you the middleman? Middle <laughs> I'll let Dave talk first. How are you the middleman? So, I'm I got to deal with both agents. Come out. Both the buyer and the seller. Let Dave. You don't. You deal I know with your Dave. individual client. You're right. We agree. No, no, no. Before, no, before no. we argue, who's I the middleman? Check it out. I deal you with my agent. I deal with my Rudy, individual Rudy, client. Rudy. I deal with the other agent and their stupid ass attitude. I deal with you and I deal with you. Rudy. So here's Can we both agree out. that he's the front guy though? 100%. All right. So all right, let right, him sure. talk first. All right. All right. Sure. So let him call try, it the front guy. try to convince us that I he's the middle guy. I call it middleman. Call it front man. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if the client's pissed off at any part of the of the foundation of the contract, you're gonna go to the first person. Like, the front we're man. the first person. If the other real is pissed off about something, we're the first person. If we chose title, we chose lending, if we, you get we're the, the first person. So I what happens that. is, we're the ones that are on the phone, calming this person down, calling you. I need help. Calling. I need help. I. You know what I'm saying? We're we're that. That's why I call it the middleman because we're getting yelled at and then you're getting yelled uh, at you're by the, the agent. Guy. You're always gonna be the front guy. When people think about real estate, all right, the first person they think about is the realtor. The realtor. The difference between Kerr's real estate and everybody else is um, David. David is, uh, in one word, just raw. He gives you what, he, he tells you what he has to say naturally. It, it's, it's it, it, there's no, fixing it, there's, it is what it is, and he tries to help everybody, and the collaborative environment that we have, it's for the sole purpose of being who we are. That's where agents, they focus on what? Location, features, yeah. that's, how, that's yeah. how you sell. 100%. Right? That's all emotional stuff. Real estate is, is, is amazing here, because you have so many places in one, so many different personalities within South Florida, living together as one, where you can literally, 25 minutes takes you from one place is somewhere to the other. It's kind of amazing. So today we're at uh, CMX in Brickell City Center, which is basically the heart of Brickell, right here in Miami, Florida. And today we're celebrating our one year anniversary. We felt like technology had to play a big role. And so we've implemented a brand new application 